Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III! Alright, since the last time we made it here to the Road to the Summit. Hope you guys had a great Christmas, mine was pretty awesome. Now also, uh, between last episode and this one, I got everybody up to level 10. Now that is absolutely critical for Refia here. We want to have her have at least a couple spells, spell charges in the level 3 category right here. Now also, a couple of you guys have been asking me, RPGLPs, how do I save my game? Well, you have to be on the world map, and yeah, it won't even let me choose save right now. But yeah, then you just choose save, you click it, and save your game. But okay, let's head on up here. And here's some new enemies, Dive Eagles. Now these guys can... They're kind of exactly like cockatrices, and they can stone you, so you got to be careful with that. But pretty much easy enough. Now that we're level 10, yeah, we'll, we're uh, pretty much going to be able to one-shot him with the fighter and the monk. Yeah, and finally, after getting level 10, the monk can actually do decent damage and actually hit people. So there we go. But yeah, that's all the new enemies for this area, so now we just gotta collect uh, the rest of the treasure here and head on up to the summit. Okay. Also, I went back, rested up at the inn, and I bought 20 more potions because I used all of mine, uh, well, level grinding. But okay, well, let's head up first. And right here we get the arrow spell. We want to hand that over to Ingus, since it's white magic. There we go. He'll be using that uh, soon enough. Not right now, though. We'll stick with his physical attacks. And also, the level grinding I did only took me about five minutes, and I did it right here at the base of the summit. And right here we get another soft potion. Awesome. And that's it. Before taking a step up here... Well... We can go ahead and... Oh, hey, it's that... Hey, what are you doing, man? Bahamut's Nest. No. No. Well, who's this? Hey, it's some guy here. So you've been sitting in this uh, nest here for how long? Holy cow. This is Dash. He can't remember anything besides his name. Huh. Yeah, I like the the little uh, eggs here. The dragon's back. Well, let's get out of here. Run away! For boss time against Bahamut himself. Now, this is actually... A winnable battle, believe it or not, viewers. But right now, we want to take his advice and run. Get the hell out of here. Wow, we got it on our first try. Wow. All right. And for running away and following Desh's advice, we get the magic spell mini that will be critical in about two seconds. Okay, and Des joined the party. Yeah, this next part, in my opinion, it's probably one of the hardest parts in the whole game, viewers. And we go right here. And there's a little forest of healing and some mini guy. Came from the forest of midgets to the south. The town in the forest can only be found by midgets. Come on, get out of the way, you damn midget. Yeah, we want to restore our HP MP. The other one's a status change, and I believe that one's a re uh, revivification one. Now also, let's go ahead and teach Mini to Ingus there. And what else? I, I'm kind of drawing a blank on... I wanted to tell you guys something that I did last time. Um, no, uh, I'll, if I remember it, I'll let you guys know. But okay, we want to head all the way down here. 
And before taking a couple steps down, let's go ahead and... We have to actually use mini on ourselves. And you just hit the left button and it goes to all of them. And when you're in mini status, your eight, just like most Final Fantasy games, your attack and defense go down to one. And only black magic and, well, that arrow spell for white magic is useful. Oh, I remember what I wanted to tell you. That midget bread that I told you I got, I said it cast mini. I was wrong. It casts sight, which it basically allows you to look at your map, because otherwise you can't look at a map on here. Well, yeah, I mean, we just came in here. Now, you see these little houses here. We can only enter into the ones with little blue or little purple doors. We'll talk to other people in a second. I want to do some stuff first. Yeah, right here is the magic shop. You can buy stuff that if you... Well, you didn't get it, like the arrow spell back at the summit. Bull ice. Absolutely pick up ice if you don't have it. And... Yeah, for this next part, you could go ahead and buy another one. Yeah, I, I don't really want to have any spoilers, but it would be a good idea to pick up another ice if it's your first time playing the game, viewers. Yeah, right there. It's the same power as the Magic Sight. And this guy, he's a bread vendor. That's all he sells is midget bread. Sadly... I don't want any bread today. Get out of the way. Dr. Shelko knows a secret route to... I I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, viewers. Okay, let's... No, we don't want to rest up. We already did. Here's the item shop. Absolutely pick up a bunch of potions. Have at least 20 or even 30. Yeah, we already talked to that guy. Okay, well, let's uh, head up here. And we want to check these for Cure 2. A Burning Staff, very useful. Clothes, not so much. And a Mithril Ring. Now, this is why I wanted you to pick up an, an antidote. Yeah, this person wants an antidote. So let's go ahead and use one on them. So you ate something poisonous, huh? Myra Luca. I probably butchered the hell out of that, but... Okay, we heard about the Hidden Road. Now, this is why this place is probably the most dangerous place in the game. This and the next area we're going to go to. Got another Mithril Ring here. And a Mithril Staff. So, alright, I'll go over this right now. Since we're all minied, you could actually switch, well, to all four uh, Black Wizards and buy them spells... Uh, in that town right there. But I'm not going to. That's the reason I wanted to get up to level 10. So that Refia here has a couple spell charges for level 2. And my strategy is we're pretty much going to run from every single battle we see here. So wish me luck, viewers. Because you can easily die here. Oh, wait. Another critical thing. Let's put everybody into the back row so that some of the attacks miss. See, I don't know if I'll edit these at all, but here's a new enemy, a Dark Face. Now, you can go ahead and try and cast magic on them. And if anybody's HP drops below, I'd say eh, about 90 or 100, you want to heal them up because you do not want to die here. Okay, we got lucky there. Usually it takes me like two or three turns. But yeah, this is a fairly short area. I guess we'll keep this one in here. Yeah, I'm probably just going to edit the rest of the battles out because I'm only going to be running from them. Come on, run away. Wow, we're getting lucky with them missing. And I'm getting lucky running away. All right. Okay, here's a new enemy, a leprechaun. These guys are a lot easier than the other guys that we could fought, uh, fight. But we're not going to be fighting anybody. Now, the reason I decided to start running away from every battle here is, well, pretty much to conserve MP, and that is huge! You absolutely want to conserve all of your MP because Refia is the only one that can do damage at all. 
And I guess Ingus with the arrow spell, but... Eh, yeah, arrow's really not that useful in this game. I like to keep Ingus on, well, pretty much standby to heal everybody up if they need it. Oh, come on, get out of there. But yeah, putting everybody into the back row is... Oh, I mean, it saves so much hassle, because if they were in the front row here, they'd be taking, like, 90 damage. It's insane. Plus, the level 10 helps. Come on, get out of here. Okay, can we make it? Okay, we got one more floor of this, and then we'll get the hell out of here. Holy cow! Yeah, I got a back attack on me against three of those uh, leprechaun guys. And Jesus Christ, did they do some damage to me. Okay, but we finally made it out of there. Now, let's go ahead and cast Mini on everybody there to get them back to regular state. But we will be heading into that cave up there next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy III! This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time.